world slash link uh, area under consideration. So uh, what this means is basically uh, uh, let's say you were looking at um, uh, all of the voters who voted yesterday in the uh, Democratic primaries. The population would be literally every single person who voted yesterday. Uh, now, uh, this uh, differs from a sample because a sample is just, hey, I've, uh, I've randomly picked a few people from each polling place, uh, and those people that I've randomly selected would be a part of the sample. would be helpful if I learned how to spell. Uh. Now, the sample will always be fewer in number than the population. Um, if you're looking at the population, you're looking at everyone from every polling place. Uh, if you're looking at a sample, you're just looking at a few people from every, uh, every polling station. Uh, now I am going to insert a table. Uh, now there are plenty of uh, symbols that are used in statistics. Um, Alright, so sample mean, or not sample, uh, so variable, uh, and on the left I'm going to have what the, uh, what symbol is used for the population, and on the right I'm going to have uh, the symbol for the sample, and so, uh, mean standard deviation variance size uh, proportion uh, let's see and if I think of anything I will also add it below Alright, for the mean for the population is going to be, uh, 
what is called, uh, that is the Greek letter mu. And, uh, and insert, uh, you're right. Uh, right there. Uh, for the sample, it's going to be what's called X bar. Uh, for the standard deviation, uh, we have the uh, Greek lowercase lo uh, letter uh, sigma. And for the sample, we have S. Uh, for variance is going to be sigma squared and for the sample it's going to be s squared uh, for the size the population size is capital N and for the sample, it's going to be lowercase n. And for the population proportion, it's going to be lowercase p. And for the sample, it's going to be p hat. 